Raheem. Seven major trophies, all the individual accolades that you've got along the way. When you look back on all that time that you've spent here at Manchester City, how do you reflect on that? It's been a, say, a quick five years. Um, it's gone, gone by so fast. Um, but yeah, it's been you know, a great learn, learning process for me and a, a, a great next step for me in my, in my career. So, so far, so good. What is it that you want to achieve next? Champions League is definitely one and definitely something with my country. Yeah, I just think that's the ultimate. I don't think nothing, nothing could beat that, to be honest with you. So bring something home for England, for sure. What's your relationship with Pep like? Because since you've joined and since you've both been together, no one's played more than you under him. He's had great faith in me since he's been here. Um, not just me, but with everybody, he's helped us you know, massively as a team to kind of develop a, a winning mentality. Phil Foden, he calls you a role model. Is it weird now that you are that role model because you were around that same age when you came here? Sometimes I look at Phil and I think, like, oh, I wasn't too long ago, I was the same, the same age as you, just breaking through. Um, he's a, f a confident lad. Um, and every time he goes on the pitch, he, he plays a, a, above his age. He, he plays as if he's been playing in the Premier League for 10 years. What do you think he means when he says that, that you are a role model? He's probably heard of me in the past and then probably training with me now and kind of seeing how I am. And I think probably um, his perspective of me is probably a lot different. Perception's interesting, isn't it? Is that something in football that these young players, when they're coming through, you encourage them to, to discount? Yeah, it's not just in football, it's everywhere. If you're on social media and Instagram, you look at someone's Instagram page and you think you know them and you kind of have a perception of them straight away. So it's, it's the exact same in football. And you know, you just try to help them to, to give themselves a chance, really. So you just try to encourage him in and around the training ground how to act and, you know, um, be, you know, calm. Show them that where you're from is as important as where you end up. Raheem Sterling has called for players and fans to unite against discrimination and abuse that's overshadowing football, demanding action. And show them, whatever our rivalries, whatever our differences, we stand shoulder to shoulder against all forms of prejudice. So it's got no place to grow. Because when we show our best side, we don't just play the game. We change it. That particular advert, are these all messages that are personal to you because of all the experiences that you've been through, not just in football, but outside it? Um, I don't like to talk about myself a lot like that, but like when they see me, they um, can see that they have a pathway too and it's kind of to give them a, a hope and a belief in them in themselves and no matter what society or the circumstances that you're you're in at the moment there's you know there's always a, a pathway. The league at the moment Bernardo came out and said that we, we threw the towel in too soon we let it we let it go too easily do you agree with that? Um, I wouldn't say we let it go too easily I remember our first season we scored a lot of late goals and it kind of built like a Momentum. Yeah, momentum throughout the season and this season, as again, we've, we've had little decisions that, you know, go against you and they've been consistent and I think we've been slacking and we haven't kept to our standards that we know we can keep to and from now to the end of the season we just need to try and win every single game and whatever happens, happens. What does it feel like when you hear pundits say things like, this Liverpool side uh, can go on and, and dominate for years to come? Yes, <laughs> yeah, we... We won. We won the league twice in a twice in a row. Um, they they're winning. They're leading at this moment in time. But I'm pretty sure, you know, come the end of the season, you know, our boys go away and come back again. We'll be very hurt, you know, if they do pick up the league. I'm um, very hurt, and and we'll be we'll be up and up and running for next season for sure. So we should expect a reaction. Oh, massive one, yeah. <laughs> Raheem, thank you so much. Good luck this thank weekend. You. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>